Hello again and welcome to our GCP Mindset channel and all you need to know about clinical research. I'm Carol Lazovic and today we'll continue with our how-to series in various steps of clinical studies. Let's look at one of the biggest challenges for many CROs and sponsors, patient recruitment. More after the break. Clinical trials should ensure patient safety, rights and privacy are protected. In clinical trials, patients play an integral role as the most important party, enabling us to give them access to new drugs, particularly those with diseases. Patient enrollment is the most time-consuming aspect of most clinical trials, the single factor that most centrally determines the cost and duration of the clinical study. It is also the leading cause of missed clinical trial deadlines, taking up to 30% of the clinical timeline and accounts for as much as 40% of the cost of a clinical study. In drug development, time is critical and according to statistics, each day the study is delayed costs the sponsor $37,000 in average. To avoid delays in your startup phase caused by under-recruiting, identifying recruitment strategies that will help you meet your recruitment goes and stays ahead of schedule to connect patients and participants in general with the right study opportunities is the key to a good start. Let's look at a few points to note when it comes to boosting patient recruitment. You can conduct a study feasibility. This is to ensure that your trial design is centered around patients and make the inclusion or exclusion criteria more realistic. Assuring diversity in clinical trials enrollment is essential for eliminating health disparities. Based on your trial design and study question, you'll have a target location and criteria for participation that have to be met by all participants in order to take part. There are several factors that could influence your target location, such as the patient population, cultural differences, disease prevalence, patient recruitment, study naive patients, current standard of care, communication barriers, political factors, the list goes on. Hence, the strategy you adopt may necessitate your study be performed in a specific country. Another strategy would be connecting with primary care providers and specialists. It's said that about 64% of patients would prefer to hear about clinical trial opportunities from their healthcare providers. Using your relationships with your local hospitals or other healthcare providers in the area, you can spread the word about your trial. You can also develop strong partnerships with sites to foster a sharp goal of recruitment and patient retention. Therefore, the motivation of the investigator is also important as it will determine how your study will run and the kind of data they will provide. Therefore, ensure that the site team is enthusiastic and curious, willing to work hard. That means for the sponsor as well as the CRO staff that they will avoid any demotivation by unnecessary control or paperwork. You can also find a lot of support from CROs, especially those that have databases for such processes. Remember, patients are experts, therefore get their input. Making the trial patient-centered using web-based applications such as remote interviews and online surveys can capture the patient's inputs and this information can be used to optimize an ongoing clinical trial, leading to an improved recruitment rate globally. Thanks for watching. Let us know other strategies that have worked for you in the comments. See you next time. Goodbye.